Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you all 8 shades of the new Clio Matte Matte Tint So obviously this is a tint, it's not a liquid liquor But I feel like it is like a liquid liquor because it really applies on like a liquid lipstick It is very, when you first apply it's a little bit runny But then it's set it into a matte finish and the one itself you can see is more leaning towards the rounder tip which also helps to apply it nicely as well so this lips, um, lip tint, I'm gonna keep calling it liquid lipstick accidentally but this liquid tint is supposed to have really high concentrated pigment which includes a watery tint and then it transforms into a matte matte and it helps to last for a very long time which you guys will see later on but this one it has a lot of vivid colors and let me tell you the scent is very very strong it has like this very strong floral scent and lasts for a very long time as well so if you guys who are not into scented uh, lipstick i wouldn't recommend this but if you guys like a little hint of smell on your lipstick this will be great anyway the first shade before it was just like a strawberry red it goes on really nicely on my lips it doesn't show any of my dry patches which is really great now number two i feel like this is more towards the reddish brown obviously the model itself it leans towards quite a dark brown wooden shade woody shade but for me you can still see that red undertone so yeah it's a little bit different just a heads up out of four of the eight in this shade it matches to the model and the other four didn't so it's like a hit and miss like a half half but then again that is why i'm showing you guys you know this whole video and show you guys how it looks like and FYI if you guys ask why I'm not using concealer and stuff there's no point because the concealer would just change the color of the liquid lipstick and I didn't want that so yeah this is how it looks like on my lips and as I said it's very different for everybody anyway this is number three and this one then i feel like there's nothing special to me i feel like it's just like a reddish color so next is number four and i call this like a sweet pink color i actually really really like this color it's very pretty i expected it to be more mauvey like the model itself however for me I felt like it was like a perfect mauve pink shade it wasn't too dark it wasn't too light it is very variable during the daytime and I've been using this shade very often since I got this li um, lip tint see I nearly say look at lipstick and the longest I've worn this is for like 10 hours and let me tell you it didn't budge it stay on for a really long time even when I had my lunch it some of the tint actually came off but the rest still stays on and the reason why it is uh, it stay on for such a long time is because it is a tint and I noticed with the ready shade from 1, 2, 3 and 4 and five now um, the one that has red and pink undertone it does leave a little bit of tint um, stain on your lips but it's not that obvious and it's very easy to actually remove however compared to all the shades the one that actually stained the most is actually the darker shades rather than this particular pink and the lighter shades which i'll show you very soon doesn't stain at all now this one is number five and i feel like this is a very sweet baby milky pink color which actually suits me really well and doesn't show any of my dry patches which actually surprises me a lot now this is number six and I call this a coral pink color and remember this particular color because the next color you see is very similar and this one is more of like it has a little bit of like a brown warm undertone compared to number seven which you guys will see really soon. I like this one as well because it's very variable and it looks really nice on my lips. It doesn't look too bright or too yeah it doesn't look too bright so it looks good because you know how sometimes orange color may look a bit bright it's just very unnatural so this is number seven as i said remember number six is very similar so number seven is leaning towards more of like a lightish a little bit of coral pink shade for me as well a little bit different from the model itself however i feel like this is still a very nice color and i feel like if i were to put a nude lip liner it might actually look way nicer but as it is itself it still looks really nice 
Now the last color number eight, this is more like a light pink shade for me rather than the model itself. And this one have a warm tone. So overall you guys can see half of this matches the model and half of it didn't. And again, it is a lip tint, so maybe it changes on, you know, your lips, I'm not sure. But this is not a liquid lipstick, so I can see why some of the colors may look look the same for me because I'm not really a tint person but I notice every time I use tint it's very different on me because of how watery it is but then this one actually turns into a matte finish and I feel like the consistency is like a liquid lipstick if that makes sense so yeah overall I actually enjoyed this product I like it quite a lot um, if you guys want me to do a comparison with the 3 CE lip tint I'm more than happy to do so but here it is the rating longevity I'm giving it 4 out of 5 because it lasted for 10 hours and didn't budge I didn't have to touch up at all pigmentation 3.5 because half of it didn't match the model but you know it is a vivid it is it, the consistency is great it is very pigmented and moisture it is very comfortable on the lips doesn't feel dry at all and the price is a little bit pricey for a lip tint it's about 12 13 dollars depending where you get it from but i'll put all the prices down below so you guys can compare it on different sites so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you on my next video bye